Hi, there's Mark here. Thanks for coming along for this video tutorial. What we'll be looking at is measurements. Let's get right into it straight away. So here we have a rule guide which most people are accustomed with. Well, we have them in schools, we have them in colleges, we have them in offices, we have them in the home. Great for drawing lines, but they're also good for measuring. So if we have a look at the whole numbers first. So what we can see straight along, straight away here is that we have inches and we have centimetres. A lot of rulers do. The inches is the imperial, it's the old fashioned, still used. And centimetres is, is more your, your metric, the decimal. So instead of us working on the old fashioned ones, we're now trying to convert over. For the folk that are as old as me, I can remember both. We know that the green block there, if you look at that, we know that it's illustrated there, and you can see that it comes to the two inches. The purple underneath, we can see that it's three centimetres. So it goes from the zero to the three. Bang on. So we're viewing it as the numbers, and we can see the numbers there. But what about part numbers, though? We've got markings between the part numbers. So use of fractions or decimal. Fractions would tend to be used with the inches, parts of. The centimetres, parts of, is more the decimal. So it's decimal points. So we know on this one here, the green block goes about halfway between the two and the three. And as we mark her there to actually show us there is halfway as well. But we know that it's about halfway, so that's two plus you've got the half there. So it's halfway across. So we say that it's two and a half inches. And because it's inches, we tend to give it in the old imperial measurements there, and we use fractions as a part. So it's half there. As for the centimetres, if you look down underneath with the, the purple block illustration, you can see that it's halfway between the four and the five centimetres, half, four and a half, which is written as 4.5 centimetres, but it's also known as a half. So there we go. If you notice, there's more markings between each of these as well. So if we have a look at the centimetres, and we can see... There is 10 markings, if you count them. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, there's 5 there. So that's halfway. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's 10 markings between each of the numbers. That would then give you point with the tenths. So with inches, which is underneath, upside down but it's underneath the same way it's just exactly the same so you just would turn your ruler around the other way or you just have a wee look at the markings just now so if you count these if they're the larger of the markings so we're going one two three four five six seven eight so there's eight major line markings between each of the numbers for inches So let's have a we try at these ones, see if we can get these. So the green block is in measurements. See what you think. The purple block is in inches. Let's have a wee closer look at the green block. Try making a note. Maybe write it down. So thinking about what we've just said there about the amount of markings there, between the numbers on centimetres, how many markings has it passed the whole number? Then think how you write it for centimetres. Now we'll try the purple one. Let's have a closer look. So again, it's passed the whole number. And how many of the major markings is it passed? Remember, how many of them are there in total between numbers? And how many does this go past? 
Again, make a note. So here's a wee tip for you. So the line mark is between centimetres, as we said, 10 markings. Decimal. So if you count two line markings past a whole number, then it'd be 2 out of 10. In other words, 0 0.2 in decimal. If you count five line markings past a number, then it's 5 out of the 10. 5 over 10. Write it in decimal, 0.5. It's 5 tenths. So you get 2 tenths, if it's 2. If you measure, it doesn't need to be this measurement, any measurement, if you go 5 past, then it's 5 out of the 10 tenths. That's also known as 0.5, it's also known as a half. If you take a fraction of a half, as 1 divided by 2, 1 over 2, gives you 0.5. Now look at the, the inches. So remember there was 8 markers between each number. If you count 3 line markers past the whole number, then it'd be 3 out of the 8. And it's written as 3 over 8, which is a fraction. It's 3 eighths. So all it's saying is that it's 3 parts out of a total of 8. If you count four line markers past the number, any number, it doesn't have to be the, the one which we're working on or what, the one which you actually viewed a minute ago. It could be any one, any time. So when you're measuring inches. So it's four out of the eight. Four out of the eight. Half of eight is four. Therefore, it's a half. So you could write it as a half. So the answers. So let's have a wee look at the green one first of all. 515.2. So it's 15. You can see we're up to the 15 marker. And then you would have counted 1, 2 out the tenths. So it's a tenth, which is the, the point, and then you get tenths. And the inches. You can see it's past the 5. So it's 5. And how many of them? One, two, three. So if you counted three, then it would be three eighths. So it's five and three eighths inches. So let's have another wee look at another one. So this one here. A closer look for you. Make a wee note of your answer. There it is again. So the answer is, that length of that green block there is 4.9 centimetres. The wee explanation is that it's 9 out of the 10 line markers past the 4. So it's 4.9. If you got 4.9, well done. Thumbs up for that. Well done. You can measure. You measure up. I thought I'd put that word in. If you get a completely different answer, I'd recommend you watch the tutorial again. You go through the tutorial again. Just make sure that you're okay. Try measuring other things. Have fun measuring other things. So other measurements that you, we, we don't think about, but we maybe do on a regular basis, you stand on the, the scales that we weighed, or you weigh something on the kitchen scales, length in metres or feet with a bigger bigger measurement, so a tape measure, for example, height of horses and hands, not many people do that, but it's still measured in hands and part thereof. Temperature reading on a thermometer, sometimes you look at a thermometer. Also volume of liquids in jugs, so in the kitchen or measuring something out. So irrespective of what you're doing, it's exactly the same process. You use the scales. How much water is in the jug there? You see? So the answer is, look at the scale, 400cc or two cups. Okay, try other measuring units. Thank you very much for watching. Much appreciated. See you again.